Good morning loves, my face says it all, doesn't it? Today I'm going to be showing you my new and improved skincare routine. We are going from dry and dull to plump and dewy. This is also an anti-aging routine, so if you are interested, just tag along. The list of everything I use is of course in the description box as always. Starting off with the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. This formula is very hydrating and works perfectly for my dry skin. Cleansers that foam has a tendency to dry and strip my skin quite a bit, so this cleanser has been doing its job beautifully. You can apply it on dry or damp skin, it doesn't really matter, it's all up to you, it's preference. I like to apply on damp skin and then massage it in for about a minute. Then I'm going to rinse it off with cold water so that I don't dry out my skin. Now I gently dry my face and the next step is toner. I use the glucolic acid from The Ordinary. I have it in a little travel bottle like this. Now put a generous amount on a cotton pad and just distribute it onto the skin avoiding the eye area. This toner is a gentle exfoliator and it has helped a lot with my hyperpigmentation. My skin always gets brown spots after pimples and with this toner, I have noticed that the brown spots fade away so much quicker and it just really makes my skin vibrant and even. Glycolic acid can also increase the penetration of other skincare ingredients, making your other skincare products much stronger. During your skincare, don't neglect your neck area. That is where you usually see skin aging and the goal is for the neck to match the face, I guess. While the toner is still damp on my skin, I apply my hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. You always want to apply hyaluronic acid to damp skin for it to actually work. So if you are not using a toner, tap some water onto your face before applying it and feel the magic happen. Hyaluronic acid is like a big glass of water for your skin. That's the best way I can explain it. It draws in moisture from your environment onto your skin which is perfect for me because my skin used to be flaky and red and since I have been using the combo of this toner and hyaluronic acid, my skin has been thriving. Lock all of that in with some moisturizer. I am using the CeraVe moisturizing cream and geez, it is amazing. You get so much products for the price and it's so creamy and moisturizing. I absolutely love it. I used to use the moisturizer from The Ordinary before and it works fine, but it was really thick and a little bit harder to apply and they are so small in their packaging, so I have always finished them so quick. It is definitely more affordable long term with the CeraVe moisturizer. Even though the sun is barely showing here in Sweden, I still like to go in with sunscreen at the end. Did you know that only 10% of aging is natural and the other 90% is caused by sun damage? Take a look at this picture. This is a man that worked as a truck driver for 28 years. The right side of his face is the side that was always exposed to the sun while driving. This is what 28 years of constant sun exposure can do to your skin. So wear your sunscreens even if you are indoors. Windows don't block UV rays, only UVB. There are two types of sunscreens, chemical sunscreens and physical sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens absorbs into the skin and works within. It absorbs the UV rays, converts the rays into heat and releases them from the body. Therefore, there's no white cast because it's working within the skin. Then there is physical sunscreen that sits on top of the skin as a protective layer and it reflects the sun rays away from the skin, therefore leaving a white cast because it is a protective layer on top of your skin. This sunscreen I'm using today is a physical sunscreen, but it is so, so light and absorbing that it does not leave a white cast. It is extremely moisturizing, which is amazing for my dry skin. A little bit more pricier than other sunscreens, but it is so worth it in my opinion. Makeup works perfectly fine on top of it, and it gives me a dewy and glowy finish. You can never guess that I have extremely dry skin with this on. Protecting your skin from the sun is key to anti-aging, according to everyone. Well, sunscreen and retinol. I'm going to be using retinol in my PM routine. Then I'm going to moisturize my lips with some good old Vaseline. No crusty lips here. I do have a little scarring on there, but no crusty lips at least. 
Then I'm going to be applying some lash serum. I saw this going viral on TikTok a while ago. It's pretty affordable, so I'm trying it out. Kind of like an experiment. This is also one of the highlights of my skincare routine, and that is gua sha. Gua sha is known to decrease puffiness, promote anti-aging, and sculpting the face. It gives you a natural facelift, one that leaves your skin looking younger, firmer, and brighter. Some have even mentioned that it helps with their headache and nausea as well. Interesting. I have some follow-along tutorials on my channel if you are interested. And that was my morning skincare routine. And I'm back for the evening routine. For my nighttime routine, I like to double cleanse, even though today was a day where I didn't use that much makeup, just some concealer and eyebrow pencil, it's still really nice to deep cleanse my face. I use the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. I just rub that on my face and give it a really nice massage, covering everything I want to cleanse. Double cleansing just reassures me that I really get rid of the makeup, dirt, oils, previous skincare products, and even pollution on my face if I have been out and about. Then I apply a little bit of water on my hand and massage it furthermore. You get this milky consistency when the water and the cleanser emulsify, so it's not just regular oil that you are applying to your face. Some people think you rinse it off right away, but this milky cleansing thing going on here is the whole point of double cleansing, so don't skip this part. Then I go in with my CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser and cleanse as per usual. Now I'm going to dry my face and leave it a little damp. Then I quickly go in with the Hyaluronic Acid. As I told you before, it works best on damp skin. I don't use toner in my PM routine. Now, I've told you about Hyaluronic Acid already, okay? We support, we love, and it's amazing for people with dry skin. Don't apply too much though, <laughs> less is more, and if you use too much, it will kind of like peel off and become a little bit flaky. We don't want that. After that, I use the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream once again. I love this moisturizer so much and I'm so happy I switched moisturizers. It's so creamy and easy to apply. Besides skincare, this is what you can do to promote anti-aging. Stay hydrated. Make sure that you get in the amount of water that you need per day. Your whole body will thank you, not only your skin. Number two, sleep on silk pillows. It will definitely help your skin and your hair. Protect yourself from the sun. So that is sunscreen, clothing, hats, sunglasses, and all of that jazz. After that, it's time for my retinol. My retinol is from The Ordinary, and retinol works to stimulate collagen production and accelerate skin turnover, smoothing fine lines, wrinkles, and fading acne scars. As you age, your skin cell turnover and collagen production slows down, so you want to have a product to help you out with that. You'll find retinol as a star ingredient in many anti-aging serums and creams. With retinol, you want to build up the use so that you don't overwhelm your skin. It can cause dryness, which is a little bit scary, especially for people with dry skin, but as long as you use it correctly and give it the time it needs, you will see improvement in your skin. So this is how I started to use my retinol. The first week, I mixed two drops of retinol with my moisturizer to kind of dilute it and use it every other day. My skin was feeling fine, so the second and third week, I used two drops Every other day, my skin was still feeling fine. So the fourth week, I used two drops every day, and now I'm sticking to that, and I have been using it for three months. Vaseline for some moisturized lips. Lash serum for those luscious lashes. Lastly, brow serum. I know, this is a lot. <laughs> this is also an experiment since it went viral on TikTok, so yeah, that's why we're here. And there we go. I just did a brief summary on each product because if I had gone into details, it would take forever. But if you have any questions, let me know down below. I respond to every single comment and I hope this video was helpful in any way possible. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.